Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between our to-dos and our priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and today I want to talk to you about dancing. Now, some of us are the type of people who like to dance with a mop at, while singing off key to our favorite rap artists, while others are more sophisticated and take dance lessons or some variety of that. However you choose to incorporate dance into your life, studies have shown that it increases not only your physical health, but your mental health and happiness. So this episode was inspired by a wedding I attended last weekend where we danced all night long and had so much fun. Then I saw an article in Very Well Mind where they have all the study data listed. And I won't waste your time with naming all of the studies performed, but if you're curious, you can check out the article in my show notes. But the universe was definitely telling me something. Let's take a quick moment to discuss dance terms. First, there is the free flow dance. This would be like self-led dance, like maybe around the house or in the kitchen. Second, there's choreographed dance. This would be like ballroom dancing, tango, waltz, salsa, and so many more where you're hitting the floor with a partner in a traditional dance style. Third, there's synchronized dance. This is where dancers do synchronized dance next to each other, like Zumba or a fitness class or even like a flash mob, but with really without touching. And then lastly, there's dance therapy. American Dance Therapy Association defines this as a psychotherapeutic use of movement to promote emotional, social, cognitive, and physical integration of the individual to improve health and well-being. Now let's talk about these benefits. First, we have physical health. Dancing takes effort and it can result in long-lasting benefits, right? When I say long, and I mean long, it can be everything from improved strength to lower risk of cardiovascular disease. How cool is that? Second, dancing improves the mind. A study performed with older individuals who were put through a dance choreograph class showed that the brain's memory center improved, helping to improve memory and possibly preventing dementia. It's incredible. Third, dancing is social. So unless you go solo in your kitchen, most dancing occurs with other people. And studies show that dancing together with others improves the human bonding process which activates our social skills and lessens loneliness. Fourth, endorphins are released during dancing. We all know that. As we have talked about this before, endorphins can ease depression, lower anxiety, and improve your mood. So overall, dancing is an easy way to boost your happiness. The only caveat is that you can't take yourself too seriously. Dancing is hard. There is a high chance that you're going to misstep and probably step on your partner's foot. So you must go into dancing with an open mind. Be ready to mess up, laugh at yourself, and just have a wonderful time. The benefits are endless. And P.S. I've also heard that you can take online couples courses. While I'm not an affiliate or anything like that, this would be a significant first step in dancing where you and your partner can learn and laugh together in the comfort of your own home. So are you a dancer? Share in the comments what style of dance you prefer. Send me a message. Let's connect on social at Everyday Happiness with Katie. And join the community of hashtags, intentional margins, and hashtag Everyday Happiness with Katie on Instagram.